I'm a go, I'm a goat, I'm a go, I'm a goat, I'm a Capricorn, yeah. What's up, y'all? If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Love to have you guys back. Let's go ahead and get started with your reading. Ah. <laughs> I'm a go, I'm a go, I'm a go, I'm a go, I'm a Capricorn. Yeah. I think you're in your head about what direction you want to go in a situation. I feel like the situation is bringing you a lot of anxiety. You're in your thoughts a lot about a situation, Capricorn. Mm-hmm. And whatever decision you want to make, I feel like it's in your mind. You're having a deep thought about the decisions you're going to make with the Four of Swords here and the um, Two of Wands upright. Let's get into it. Funny you're in your own reading here. I have the devil here in reverse. I have um, Taurus. I have Pisces. I have um, crazy with Gemini, Virgo in your reading here. I feel like there was some codependency with your partner. Some codependency, some manipulation, some controlling, things that was going on here. I feel like this person, um, you know, used a lot of things to keep you codependent to them. Money, sex, things they did for you. This person would get angry from time to time, be aggressive from time to time. I feel like this person would come and help you when you had money troubles as well. This person is very, very uh, stubborn as well. Hurts you without even thinking about it. Puts their own needs before yours sometimes. And it just caused a lot of conflict in this relationship. I feel like there was a lot of resentment in this relationship as well. Let's clarify for your person what's all this going on here. All right here. I feel like this person's concealing their emotions, but I feel like they're gonna make a decision. Um, I feel like they feel like you are not as passionate about them that you're concealing your emotions and you've made a choice about something. I feel like this person feels like you're moving away from them with all this I'm getting here. This person may not be able to view you on your social media. I don't know. I feel like maybe Capricorn, you have made a way for them not to be able to spy on you um, because maybe it could, you have a lot of negative association with this situation here because I see like this person um, is not able to see you on a message or anything. I feel like they are forced to walk away from a situation that is not no longer where they can see anything going on with it. So I kind of feel from your person, they could be mad that you're not codependent on them as much anymore now that I have more cards on the table. They used to be able to have more control over you, I believe, Capricorn, over your emotions, over you. I feel like they can't do that anymore, so I feel like this person could be acting a little bit 
angry and out of character from you remember when you were dealing with them. Okay. Tell me more about this person here. Sorry, guys. All right. Tell me more about this person. Could be dealing with the Leo. Again, I have the sun in reverse twice. This person doesn't think that you're into this situation anymore. I feel like they feel... Like, they don't make you happy anymore. Like, you don't view this situation as a happy situation. I feel like they're still waiting on you, though, with the hang one. I'll show you the cards here. But this light here is just really blinding. Okay. Let me see. I don't know if you can see that. But that sun card is really bla <laughs> blazing. Okay. What else can we get about this person? Too many cards, but these are just will draw from the top. I feel like this person wants to speak to you. I feel like this person feels like they want to speak to you. They feel like you're the only one out of all their options that they want to talk to you again, Capricorn. Could be dealing with a Virgo here. This person could do a lot of different things. Travel. You know, they may have different things that they get involved with. I think none of these things are really making them happy. Mm-hmm. They want you, they don't want to wait. Okay. Again, I get that in reverse. Hmm. I think they feel like you're emotionally cut off from them. <gasps> they want to get out of that. They want to get out of the being left out in the cold. And they want to move towards you with a new beginning here. Let me show you these. Uh, Want to move out of the cold. When, you know, they feel like you're closed off. They want to be out the cold. They want a new beginning. The other one over here was the Virgo and the Seven of Cups. It was in reverse, though. It was like this. Sorry, guys. All right. All right, give me one more on this person, and I'll move on. But this person um, is obsessed with you. They're just upset that you're not able to be manipulated like you were before or something like that. Seven. 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 I feel like this person feels like Like, you're just not available to be messaged. You're not opening up to them um, any kind of way like that. You know what I'm saying? You're not opening up. You're not trying to be with them. And I think it's bothering them a lot. Let's check under the deck here. Yeah. They want victory with you. But I just feel like you're holding back from this person. I feel like you're in your energy here. You have the Nine of Cups. So a lot of things that you wish for did not, did not be, didn't come out the way you wanted it to. Yeah, this person kind of cheated you out of your time. You guys kind of drifted away as lovers. Could have caused you some psychological or emotional uh, wounds here. We're dealing with this person. For some of you guys. Get here tonight. Since your wishes haven't been fulfilled, I, f I feel like intuitively you know if you want to be at in the Ten of Cups, a happy place, you know you have to drop this emperor. 
And the reason why I think that this person's the emperor, um, it could be dealing with the Aries, the Pisces, all right? I thought this person was a provider. I'm not saying that they weren't. I thought this person did provide for you, did show up for you. But I feel like it did not turn out the way you wanted it to. Like, like things, the problems just kept on going with this situation. And you had to make a critical decision to let someone go. Not necessarily they were a bad person, but... Yeah. Emperor. Could be some control issues with this person too as well. I feel this person is confused about the situation. They want to make things right with you with the justice card here. And the seven of cups. I think they've tried to find other things to do, other situations to get involved in. But I think they want you. They want you. They want you. The tower. But they can't have you. The foundation has been destroyed. Basically, it was a big tower. And it was up in the air and it went kaboom. Oh. The tower happened. So they want you, but they can't have you because of the tower moment. Whatever happened between y'all. It's like no matter what they do, they can't get you off their mind. I feel like you feel like this person was exposed for who they were. Mm -hmm. If you decided to take a break, Retreat from this person. Why this person is trying to come towards you like that? You're you're blocking yourself off. What's key tell me about this page? I feel like you're moving on. You're not stuck anymore because this is a waste of time. And you don't have a love connection with this person anymore. Because you've seen the truth. To clarify this page of swords here. Yeah, double confirmation that you've seen the truth. You know about this person. And so you want to get yourself out of the hangman. And move towards getting the hell on. Connection just is not as strong as it used to be, man. I'll just be honest. All right. You're releasing codependency. Releasing codependency. Getting over the Ten of Swords. And moving on, even though this situation was a burden. You're finding a way to pick yourself back up. And move forward with the burdens to happen with this situation here. How's this person's actions gonna be if they reach out to you? They feel like they're not getting anywhere with you. They feel like they're not getting your attention. They're not moving this forward the way they want to. So if they were to come at you, it would be tempers in reverse, four of staffs in reverse. So they're not okay without this relationship with you. And they don't, and, and the scary part about it, I feel like it's kind of scary. They don't want it to die. They don't want it to die, Capricorn. Why don't they don't want it to die? Four of swords. Because they're in their head about you. Obsessed, like I said. They want to message you. They want to open up to you. Why the Queen of Slaves? 
the tower. Yeah, that tower came up twice. Basically, they know whatever this last tower mode, whatever this last situation that happened between y'all, really do the relationship out of balance. You don't want the relationship, but they don't want to take that no for an answer. They want to open up to you any way it goes. They want to message you. They are in their head about you. I can see this person probably spies on you. What's, this, what's the emotions of this person, Capricorn? Ooh. This person may be aware you may have another person. Suspicious jealousy is going on with this person. This person's afraid of losing you. They're terrified of it. So they might come at you like they want to care about you. Some compassion. Clarify compassion. Why are they being compassionate? The emperor. They want to come back and rule your world again. Like they once did. I feel like you put this person on the pedestal at one point And they were run, um, running your world, man. Keep dealing with the Aries. I have Virgo. Scorpio. Sagittarius. Capricorn. Virgo. Virgo is very heavy in this reading here. Um, Pisces. Air sign. Libra. All right. Scorpio. All right. So... What do we see for someone that's coming new, all the brights? For those who are looking for new. I feel like a lot of you guys are going to be moving forward, even though, you know what I'm saying, you still may be attached to a past situation mentally. But you do have a new beginning coming in. And uh, it could be with the air sign or a fire sign. Somebody's going to want to come in and be that, that rod. Be that, uh, and, you know, sexually too as well with the uh, Ace of Wands there. So you have a new beginning coming in. It's just that you need to work on, you know, letting yourself go from mental prisons in the past, you know. Yeah, you may have a lot of personal issues going on too right now. As you move forward, a lot of things may be unclear. You may feel trapped in a lot of situations, but it's your own fear. You need to get over with the Eight of Swords. All right. Let's go into your message. Grab your own butt. Love yourself. <laughs> Whatever type of butt you have, you're a completely psychopath. If you can't see that, Butts of all kinds are super fucking awesome. <laughs> Look around at all butts of the world. Big butts, teeny tiny butts, jiggly butts, <laughs> orangutan butts, <laughs> elephant butts. <laughs> Grab your butt right now. Ah! <laughs> Aren't you lucky to be that kind of animal that gets to have a butt? Answer, yes, you are lucky. Very, very lucky. Stupid, man. I feel like it just means to lighten up, man. <laughs> Call upon the... T oh, I can't do that yet. Hold on, hold up. Where's your spiritual guides? Sorry, guys. Your spiritual guides starting this um, message. Divine alchemy. Move beyond current challenges. Focus on what you desire. Ooh. Okay, that sounds like a very good Capricorn message right there. Devotion. Trust your spirit. Trust your spiritual guidance. Your commitments have been recognized. You are loved unconditionally. So you have people who love you unconditionally, especially this fucking piece of shit over here who's codependent as hell on your fucking ass. Kind of scary. Take charge. Leave by example. Walk your walk. Yep. You're going to start moving in the way you need to. Yep. All right, and well with that, call upon the tarot gods and end this motherfucker right there. Or do what you want to do. If you like this video, be sure to like, share, and subscribe to this channel. I'd love to have you guys back. Thank you.